Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to explain to you about personalized homework and also kind of a workaround for some glitch that I'm seeing in Canvas with the personalized homework. So if you ever are in Canvas and you want it to update something that you think should be updated, you can always click on the My Lab and Mastering and then that you can update it that way and I'll show you that in a minute. But what we've done here is we have lecture videos that you should be watching and then you can take the chapter diagnostic. Notice that the diagnostic here has, well let's do the chapter 2 when it has 23 points on the diagnostic or 23 questions but there's 36 on the homework. So if you go directly into homework which you're not supposed to be able to do but in Canvas it lets you do it. If you go directly into that you would have to do all 36 questions to get 100% on that homework. Better to do the diagnostic because the diagnostic eliminates many of those homework questions if you get them correct on the diagnostic. So I would watch the fac fraction videos, then I would come in here and do the diagnostic. I'm not going to take the whole diagnostic because I don't want you to spend your day watching me take a test. But I, I want to do several so that we can get a feel for what this does for you. So there's 23 questions, and this first one asks you to say what the fraction is over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you ever feel like you don't have enough space to do what you want to do, go to my math lab um, in mastering and just um, <clears throat> don't even use this smaller space here in the Canvas uh, classroom. Um, this is... Notice that you can click down here to get a fraction. I was just using a shortcut, but it doesn't matter. If I want to build that up, it's 9 times 4 is 36. I don't expect you to be able to go fast, 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 but I do think that um, I, it's useful for you to see that I got a couple of these right. What was that? 5, 5 13, 15. Um, multiply, that's going to be 3. Now there's 23 questions on here. Maybe at some point I no longer know what I'm doing and I stop trying and instead I just submit the test. That's okay. I don't want you to spend a lot of time on a test that you don't understand what you're doing. So if you don't know the test then that means you do need to do the homework. But if you know the things on the test then you shouldn't have to do the homework, right? Let's say you don't know how to do that one, don't know how to do that one, um, this one I know. And then I have a few more that I don't know, and I know that one half is greater than one ninth, so I can just put that in. I don't know about word problems, I'm just going to skip it, skip it in anything with mixed numbers. On the homework, I'm not going to skip it. On the diagnostic, I can say there's no point in me really guessing here because I don't know. I think I knew that one, so let's see about that one. Um, let's say, okay, so then anyway. I finish guessing and doing what I can and I submit the test. You don't have to do the whole thing, remember. It's okay. But when I submit it, I can see that I had close to 50% of it done. I got 11 out of 23. And so now it should update my homework, Chapter 2 homework. But it doesn't if you click on it here. I still have 36 questions to do. So the workaround is to go to My Lab and Mastering. open it. This is how you can always get there. If you're having trouble with Canvas, just go there, but make sure you know what assignment you need to do before you go there. I'm going to click on Assignments. And now when I look at my homework too, I have a score, even though I haven't done it yet. I have a score because of this. So if I click on Homework for Chapter 2, I had 36 questions, but do you see how all of these now are checked as correct? And the only ones I have to do are the ones that I did not get correct on. It. So it saves me a lot of time to do the diagnostic first. Now what I've seen is if I go back to my lab and mastering and click on the module, now if I click on the homework before it still showed I had to do all 36, now that I've been into my math lab it shows that I scored 13 points correct and it only has the ones left that I have to do. So that's how you can save yourself time by doing personalized homework, but you have to do the diagnostic first. All right, have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you next.